This world is going crazy. It's just my opinion. Hey everybody, how you doing? And welcome to Sway. That's right. Welcome to the channel where I give you my absolute honest opinion. And I really don't care whether you agree with me or not. <laughs> As always, I have my trusty smokes, my trusty Coke. And before I get started, do not forget to hit like, make a comment. If you like this video, don't forget to share it as well as press the red subscribe button and the notification icon so you can be notified of every time that I post a video. Uh, all right. So as always, you know what? Before I get started, let me turn one on. Smoke them if you got them, whatever it is. <laughs> if you got it, smoke it, right? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so for some time now, for some time now, uh, I've been collecting, I've been taking a lot of screenshots. I've been collecting some videos. I've been, you know, uh, screen recording and stuff using my laptop I just a lot of different things so, and i'm gonna try to uh touch upon a lot of it i'm gonna try to touch upon a lot of it in uh this video today uh it is absolutely crazy all this shit that has been happening for quite some time now and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I've talked about some of the, some of the things here and there, uh, and it's just what the fuck? Seriously, what the fuck is happening in this world? What the fuck is happening with this country, the United States of America? What the fuck is happening in Canada? What the fuck is happening everywhere? What, like, seriously, we got a lot of shit going on. And as you know, you know, uh, as as I've said many many times, when it comes to politics, right? I'm down. Uh, I'm based. I'm 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 in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm not left or right. I vote according to what I feel uh, is the right move, the the right person, uh, based on their policies and and what they talk about and what they've done. You know, here in the, here in the state of Connecticut, uh, little by little, uh, I'm getting back into some activism, as I said in uh, uh, yesterday's video, where uh, I will be creating a uh, an activism playlist for this channel on some uh, some uh, video that I'm, I'm working on to help out a group that um, that uh, I'm part of, pretty much, <laughs> uh, Black and Brown United. Uh, this is a group of, uh, of black and brown people, meaning, uh, you know, black and brown people. That includes me being Puerto Rican. Okay. Yes, I'm lighter than all hell. I'm lighter than all hell, you know, but, I, you know, being Puerto Rican, uh, you know, and, and just uh, in having the, the African blood in me, having the uh, Taino blood in me, you know, I'm, you know, I'm brown. You know, I have a brown heart, I guess, uh, is the best way to say it, right? Uh, having, uh, having, been, having experienced racism myself by many people, um, you know, there's a lot of things that, that I'm very passionate about. And also, the, you know, my daughter being a, a beautiful uh, black young lady, my daughter is being beautiful uh, black girls, um, and, um, you know, it's, I'm passionate about, uh, making sure things are done, things get changed. Uh, many people on the right, you know, they, they talk about how people on the extreme right will say how there is no racism and that's just a bunch of shit. People on the extreme left, uh, and the extreme left talking about how, uh, bad racism really is and i will not necessarily agree with that but i can understand it and it is because again 
each and every one of us that has experienced racism for myself included every, you know it's been to different levels now I, people on the extreme left or whatever when they take they, they will take certain things to an extreme that i don't agree with and that but i i can understand even though i don't agree with it but i can understand their passion on some of it not all of it um but again it just it, it just goes to show that nobody's really listening to anybody okay nobody's really listening to anybody the right is the the right is not really listening to the left or, or at all actually the right is not listening to the left the left is not listening and i'm talking about the extreme rights and lefts okay the extreme rights, they're not listening to the left. The extreme uh, left, they're not listening to the right. You got people on the left and right where they're stuck in this, um, I don't want to say a middle ground, uh, but they're stuck in this, uh, that they, they will at least listen to the other side and try to come to a conclusion with the other side, you know, left and right. Yeah, you, you know, people, you know. Um, but again, I, I, I'm going to talk about that a little bit more later. Um, so I want to get to the first couple of things. Um, like I said, I've been collecting a bunch of, a bunch of screenshots and memes and things and, um, you know, I'm going to try to share it with you, uh, At least a couple of them, if I can find them, okay? Ooh. All right, so. One of the things I wanted to share is, um, I just got to make sure I find it. I forgot to, okay, here it is. I One of the things I wanted to share, it was this, uh, And and I can I can I can find it right now. As if you can see it right here, um, I I took this screenshot. I took this screenshot from Twitter uh, using my phone. Um, where is where it said that uh, the Dems pass? And this was Chuck Woolery, yes, the host. He said the Dems passed bill to vaccinate children without parental knowledge or, or consent. And it and it led into um, an article and uh, at, at the conservativebrief.com. Now, now again, as I said, as I, you know, I read as much as I can. I read conservative, I, I read liberal, I read everything as much as I can because I want to try to get the bigger picture, what everybody is saying try to come to a logical conclusion of what is really happening and not just believe what one side is saying or what the other side is saying. And that's one of the problems that we have is that people are, they're, they're believing the extreme right, the extreme left, you know, and then again, you have people like myself kind of in the middle or a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right where they're, um, you know, we're trying to get the actual information, okay? So it says the bill not only permits children of this age, 11 plus, to provide consent to doctors and other vaccine administrators without a parent's knowledge or consent, but also requires insurance companies, school administrators, and medical personnel to conceal from parents that their child has been... <coughs> uh vaccinated all right so let me go back to me um as a parent i am wholeheartedly against that um i mean i am wholeheartedly against it because you know and, and it has nothing to do with uh, anything dealing with uh, the vaccination as far as what's in it okay this is not a medical thing and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say any medical advice or whatever but I am against 
I am against anybody trying to take away the rights of a parent. I, I mean, I am against anybody trying to take uh, the rights away from any parent of uh, doing what's best for their child. Now, what's really sad is uh, when... What was really sad is that you know a parent, you know, uh, when you have bad parents who abuse their children and whatever. But you know, when it comes, you know, people are trying to put things into law that shouldn't be put into law. Um, taking away a parent's rights is, is not. No, I'm not for that. Not on anything. The only time I could ever agree of taking away a, a parent's rights if is is, is the parent actually physically abuses their child i mean and i'm talking about physical you know i'm not talking about you know disciplining for spank on the on the butt um but when they physically physically abuse their child or they mentally or verbally abuse their child such as you know neglecting their child 24 7 uh verbally abusing them calling them names this that and the, i i stuff like that i i can understand um, but to take, you know, but when it comes to a good parent who's trying to do their best for their child, and then if, let's say the parent is a conservative and, or there are, or there are, they are against certain things, uh, to take away a parent's right to make that decision for their child who doesn't know any better. Because all, all, all that's going to happen is that when they do that, they take away the parents' rights to, to, uh, to, to consent or deny anything. They're going to scare the poor child. They're going to scare the poor child to death saying, hey, you have to do this or blah, 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 blah. And that would be on anything, okay? It just so happens that... Uh, that article that article was was based on um medical stuff but where else will they take it let's be honest where else will they take it it's it's really crazy to it's really crazy to the levels where uh certain people will take this bullshit they need to just mind their own damn business. That's just my opinion, you know. Um, let me see. Let me see. I, I'm, I'm gonna try to find uh, some other things we need. You know that needs to be uh, discussed. Okay. There's this video. There's this video that was caught. I'm not gonna show you all of it. But it was caught. It was caught in my state, actually, in the in the capital city of my state. It was caught in Hartford. It was caught in Hartford, Connecticut. It was uh, pretty interesting, and I want to be able to share that <laughs> because I found it to be funny. Um, let me show you that right now. And you know, let me see if I can lower the volume. And here we go. As you can see, there is they there's a fight. And now I'm trying to figure out what was the fight about. I'm trying to get more information on this because I would I would love to know what the heck this fight was about. Now, you know, anybody knows anything about Hartford, you know, that was a city I grew up in. Um, now I don't live there anymore for, for certain reasons, but people can be ghetto as fuck. People can be ghetto as fuck, you know, and a fight can break out for whatever reason, you know? Um, let me see what else I can find. No, that's just a logo thing. No, no, no. And I apologize because I know I'm... Let me see. Oh, this is uh, no, this is something else. Uh, 
No, no. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Uh, if you notice on the news, if you notice on the news, um, and I'm sorry for the glitching. If you notice on the news, um, and I've noticed this many, many times where, you know, whether it was CBS or it was uh, NBC or whoever, you you could tell they're all reading from the same script. Who wrote the script, you know? So I want to kind of play a little bit of, you know, just some proof. Somebody else put this together. All I did was I put the little uh, uh, text on the bottom of this, which says, hmm, who wrote the script? Uh, but somebody else put this together. I want you to pay attention, okay? Let me And let me get the volume up so you can hear this better. You filled up your gas tank lately, then you don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. So you don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. Well, you don't need us to tell you gas prices. You can admit it if you bought an item or two or maybe ten for your. Now hold on, hold on. I'm and I gotta pause it. Okay, I gotta pause it a bit. But again, you gotta ask the question: Who wrote the script? You know, uh, let's let's hear a little bit more so you can see. It's not a coincidence. It's okay. You can admit it if you bought maybe an item or two or ten for yourself. It's okay. You can admit it. If you bought an item or two or ten for yourself. It's okay. You can admit it. If you bought an item or two or ten for yourself. It's okay. You can admit it if you bought an item. So, you know, um, it's, it, it, and let me, let me go back to myself here. Uh, Again, you know, you have to, you know, and with all the crazy stuff that's happening, uh, with all the crazy stuff that's happening and whatever, and, you know, and I've said it before because, you know, of my experiences working, uh, doing some, uh, you know, some things with media and all of that, I'll, I'll be the first one to tell you, yeah, it is, it is true that, you know, uh, the media is corrupt. You know, the media, especially mainstream media, tends to be really fake. Um, and I'll give you an example. I was working on, uh, this was around high school. This was around high school. I was working on, um, I was working on a news thing. I, was, and I think it was my senior year in high school, if I remember correctly. I was working on this news thing that was going to be on uh, uh, on the what they call the Fox Kids News, which was uh, where every high school and even some middle schools in my state where uh, that had like a, a an AV club TV news thing happening. What they would do is that uh, they would feature some stories on the mainstream channel of Fox, you know, Fox, which is uh, Fox 61 over here. So it was our job to, it was our job to, uh, if, if you were picked, if you were picked, whatever story it was, if you were picked, it, it was your job to put together the story, write the script, whatever, whatever. Um, I got picked. I got picked for that month. I got picked for that month uh, out of everybody that was you know, everybody, all the kids in the state, out of all the kids in the state, I got picked for that month, and I thought that was cool. And I was stuck. And the news story that uh, uh, that they wanted was something that I did on uh, on, the, on the on the actual on our actual high school uh, about either building a new high school or adding an addition to our the current high school that you know that was at the time, whatever. And uh, they gave me uh, the rules on, you know, how, how long the story has to be, blah, blah, blah. Um, as I was, as I was, uh, I, had, I had to add at least, no, sorry, I had, I had to read because the actual story that I did was about a minute and a half. And that, that was fine for the regular 
high school new stuff that only uh you know everybody in our high school and and even in our town because of public access will only watch but to be for the statewide thing i had to reduce that to a uh i had to reduce it so that way it would be a maximum of 55 seconds you know if 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 i could have gone brought it down to 30 seconds you know 30 second news thing it would have been cool but they you know I mean, it would have been perfect because that's the way they want their news stories. But at maximum, I was allowed 55 seconds. So as I was trying to figure out where I'm going to where I'm going to cut, you know, uh, from the script, because, you know, not only did I edit that, not not only not only did I produce the story, not only did I edit it, but I was also the one on the voiceover doing the, the camera work. I did. You know, I was doing everything. So as I was looking, where can I cut? What where can I cut? Should I cut something from an interview? Should I cut something from whatever? Okay. So uh, I got in contact, and this was the first time. This was the first time uh, I made contact with the local news station, and uh, because I wanted some advice, I wanted some advice for people who are in the field, and you know, how do they do this? And what have you. Um, I got in contact with somebody. And uh, it was really interesting to know that they told me uh, if, if it was an important news story that you, that you would see that would be talked about uh, a nationwide, they told me they get the script from the higher ups. And that was their words to me. They say, well, we, you know, if it's something that's that's going to be that's uh, that's being talked about nationwide, we get our script from the higher ups. You know, what you mean? You get the script from the higher ups, and that was the first time that I really um, heard about that. And then, as I graduated high school and I was going into college, I didn't pay no mind to it. I, I actually totally forgot about that until when I was in college and I was studying uh, media production and communications and all that, when I got to I, once again speak with people from mainstream media from my state and and it basically you know they're talking about the same thing and it, and and then as I got more involved and I was like, wait what huh Who? and then I started working with this that and I, I just it, it really it really shocked me to know that how fake it really was you know it, like your local news stories what happened you know the local news stories that happen in your in in, in, the, in in your state wherever you live you know that stuff that stuff is believable <clears throat> that's believable because because of the fact that um they're presenting it as it's there, as it's happening, and what have you. It's a local, okay? But even then, even then, things can be fake because if something happened and they want to spin a different narrative on it, and it does happen more times than, you know, you can count, they got to get an approval from their higher-ups. Hey, is this script going to be okay? If they don't like it, they want them to switch it, or they'll write them a script about whatever just as what as they would get a script from something that's happening uh nationwide and um it was interesting especially now be you know especially now because of youtube that there's proof of you know all of these ch in the local uh cbs outlets uh fox outlets what have you you can see there's a narrative being spun by by the mainstream media um let me see next thing i want to talk about every, everybody noticed the crazy weather everybody noticed the crazy weather that's been ha that that's happened over, you know over the past month or two right it was snowing in texas and they said that texas have texas when it when it was snowing in Texas, I don't know if it still is now because I bar I barely watch uh, uh, regular news, but it said that it hadn't snowed in Texas in over thirty years. Okay, um, 
And then I came, uh, 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 my friend and brother Miles, he came upon this video. So I had to record this. So let me show you this real quick. Uh, all right. All right. <clears throat> all right. So you can see me. Let me play this. And it says, uh, snowing in the desert, the end of the. <laughs> Uh, hold on. The end of the Bible, Great Awakening, whatever. Uh, so let's, let's, as you can see, you see these camels here. It is snowing. This is, I don't know if this is in the Middle East or if this is uh, uh, in, in, on the continent of, Af of Africa, like in Egypt or, or the Sahara Desert or wherever. But you got to, I mean. Allah, tabarak Allah. Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. It sounds like it's in the Middle East. I wonder if it was uh, Saudi Arabia. I wonder if it was Saudi Arabia. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, there's a bunch of crazy shit is happening in this world. As you know, I'm like, what the fuck? Um, wh what the hell is happening in this crazy world? You know, let's be real. Let's ask ourselves that question. What the heck is happening in this crazy world that we live in? Um, What do you think it is? Is it a, is it is it a great awakening that's happening? Is this the is you know are these troubled times that we're experiencing now? Is it be, do you feel? And I'm asking everybody the question: Do you feel that it is because of a great awakening that it, of whatever it is, whatever the great awakening is? Do, do you feel it's because of that? That's a good question to uh, to you know to ask. Is it? Um, shit. But in the meantime, while we're trying to figure out all of this craziness, you know, is it the Great Awakening? Is it the Tribulation time? Is it whatever? Uh, we got all this crazy shit happening locally and nationally. And internationally, with the politics, with you know, with all of this, that, and the other, and uh, like, like for instance, uh, you got people trying to make socialism uh, a big thing, you know, the the main the main way of doing things, and uh, and then and then people wonder. And we're mainly talking about people on the left uh, who want to promote socialism or what have you. But then they they wonder how could there be any Latinos or Latin or Latinas. I'm not going to use the word Latinx because that is not a word, regardless of what anybody says. Okay. Latinos are like, or I'm going to say Latine because that's an actual word, Latine with an E. Uh, then they wonder why Latine latines why they uh they vote for the right they go for the right well you have to you have to remember did you know many of them came from venezuela from cuba and from communist socialist countries where they wanted to get away from that so why would they want to allow uh socialist uh, socialism or communism and in a country that they came to to escape that. Uh, again, I, I'm listening to everybody on both sides. Okay, now, now, I I'm at a point where I'm 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 going I'm saying pure capitalism. It's not the answer. Pure communism is not the answer. Pure socialism is not the answer. Pure no. Uh, and then when people say, "Well, look at Sweden, we, 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 that that's uh, 
a socialist country. No, Sweden is not a socialist country. Sweden is a capitalist country with socialist programs. That's why it works over there because it is a mix of both, a really good mix of both. If we want to be more like Sweden, we have to ditch the idea that pure capital capitalism is the answer and that pure socialism is the answer because it is not. And that's just my thoughts on it. And, th and this is based on all the research that I've done on, on everything. So that's just my opinion. Okay. Like always, it's just my opinion. But again, as I've said earlier, nobody listens to anybody. Nobody's listening to every anybody. You got people on the right, you know, you got people on the right calling people on the left racist because of whatever. You got people on the left calling people on the right racist because of whatever. You got people, uh, you got people on the right calling people on the left communists. You got people on the left calling people on the right communists. And it was funny because, as I said in, a, in another video at one point, somebody said somebody was saying, uh, somebody goes, uh, was, uh, I'm trying to remember the exact words. He was, uh, he was saying, hey, you know, hey, stop being a, you know, he, he, he was trying to cuss out, he was trying to cuss out the right and saying, you're, you're acting like communists. I'm like, motherfucker, let me tell you something. I was, I was part, I was part of the communist, the American Communist Party. I was. And I admit that, you know, I admit that, you know, my family, we, we were when I was younger, you know, my parents didn't know any better um, at the time, you know, and we were, and this is when, we're, this is when my activism first started. This is where it got started with the, the communist party. Um, but uh, the whole thing, the whole thing with it is that, uh, I had I had to tell the guy I was like, look, the American Communist Party financially supports the Democratic the Democratic Party. That simple. <laughs> they, they 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 support you know when Bill Clinton when Bill Clinton was running for president, the the communist the Communist Party the American Communist Party they were helping. They were making some big donations. When Hillary ran, same thing. Uh, Al Gore, when he ran, same thing. <laughs> when when Barack Obama ran, same thing. Hey, what else can I tell you? You know, and 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 I was like, and I told him, look, my family, we were part of the cut for you know shit. You want to talk shit, you know, he's a Democrat and he wants to talk shit about the Communist Party. But I was like, but he did, and he, and mind you, he says that he does research. But if he did his own research, he would, he would know that the Communist Party financially supports the Democratic Party. So I'm laughing on my ass off because here he, here, here he goes. The guy that says that he researches and studies and that who didn't fucking know that the American Communist Party financially supports the Democratic Party. <laughs> but again, that's just an example of people on the left and the right, especially on mainly on the extreme left and right, where they don't listen to anybody. They claim they claim that they're woke. They're claim they claim that they they actually do research. They claim all of this shit. And they fucking don't. They don't. And then if you look at their bullet points on anything, and I'm talking about on both sides, you see their bullet points on certain things, they're going to constantly repeat. They're going to constantly repeat something. You, you know, uh, a bullet point. or in, Instead of actually coming up with a new argument that actually makes fucking sense and again i'm talking about on both sides because i've seen it on both sides this is why i'm not going to align myself or you know pledge my allegiance to any side both sides have their corruption their corruption yeah both sides has has their corruption um 
I know somebody who who says that when they, they they get into a debate with someone on the right, all they do is they send them screenshots of whatever. And I hate that. Me personally, I, this is why I don't get into debates because you got people they they can't even make an actual argument. All they do is they'll send you screenshots and memes and whatever. And I and and I've had, and I've tried having debates. You know, I'm open to having a debate. I'm open to having a discussion. Not so much a debate, but more of an actual discussion. Because uh, a debate, a debate is more of a debate is more of you have you stand firm with this, that, and the other, and you're not going to learn anything new. That's just my opinion with the way debate is has been going on. The the way a lot of debates have been happening. Over several years, okay. I just rather have a discussion, but even in uh, even in discussions, I hate having such discussions with certain people because they can't, e- they won't even bother to actually talk. All they do is they sh- they show memes, memes. You know, they they oh, well, what about this? Oh, well, what about? This? And then you can't even you can't even give them a, a counter argument because they don't want to freaking listen. They just keep posting memes or whatever. Or 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 if it's a face to face conversation or debate, again they go on on, on on a tirade of repeating points and stuff that makes absolutely no sense. There's just so much to it. So again, this is this is a case of you you got people on the right and the left, and this is my left hand. So you got people on the right and the left. Who don't fucking listen to nobody. Who aren't even trying to have the conversations. And that's the sad part. And, I, and I've always said this. And I will continue to say this. We need to have the conversations. We do. We need to have the conversations. You know. And people need to be open minded. And people need to be willing to learn. Something new. And, you know. In the Christian community. As it is, and, and and I talk and I talk and I talk, you know, as a minister, it, you know, there's so much division between the different denominations and 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 what have you. Oh no, I'm right and you're wrong. No, I'm right and you're wrong, and nobody's actually listening to anybody. And and I stay away from that shit. I do. I stay away from that shit. And what I do within my own uh, ministry practice, I guess you can call it, I stick with the basics. I stick with the basics of God is love and, you know, and what have you. And um, and I try to learn as much as I can, you know, from everybody, even if I don't agree with what somebody says. Uh, and then when, when I see somebody... You know, in the Christian community who is so full of shit and they're not actually practicing what they preach. And all they're giving you is is is, is a shitload of, of fluff, like with prosperity ministries and what have you. I call them out. I call them out on it. I call them out on it. Is that just is that simple? Um but it, it, you know, it's sad to say that because because of politics. I mean, there's already divisions within uh, Christianity, uh, not just within the denominations, but with uh, between conservatives and the liberal Christians. And there's there's already so much, and and I, and to, and even in Christianity, when it comes down to it, I always say I mean I I I'm in a, in in the middle. Not on whether I believe uh, in God or Jesus being who Jesus is and what have you, but more of I'm not conservative, I'm not liberal, I'm in the middle. And I happily say that. I'm not conservative, I'm not liberal, I'm in the middle. Why? Because if if you're you, – I, I know people who are conservative and it is too, too – Fucking stupid, too strict, too bullshit, and many people on the conservative side that you know that I've met, they 
they are they they are just the more the most corrupt people that I've ever met. I would just say it like that. They wanna they wanna talk about other people. They want to talk about other people and their problems and their sin and all of that. But with all the shit that's happening in their families and in their household, they they sweep it under the rug. No, it's okay because it's my family. And then on the liberal side, you know, the liberal Christian Christian side, shit, they're all they can be all over the place. They can be all fucking over the place. And it's like, do you really think, and, 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 the, and the questions that I ask is like, do you really think this is what God wants? Now, don't get me wrong. Again, you know, like I said, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the happy middle of, you know, there's some good parts within conservatives. There's some bad parts in conservatives. There's good parts within liberal, bad parts within liberal in Christianity. Take the good parts of both and mesh them. Okay. Now, in Christianity, you have people who uh, uh, they like to preach the gospel. But oh, we have to be a different from the world. We have to be different from the world, and they try to use certain scripture. To be like, oh yeah, we're gonna go feed the hungry, but yet all they do is they feed their ego because they're putting everything on social media or whatever. You know, I mean, I've talked about that my, you know, many times before. There's just so much bullshit going on that they're not realizing. Hey, look, if you really want to feed the hungry, turn your freaking phones off and feed the hungry. You want to give clothes to people, you know, do a clothing drive. Shit. Damn it, keep your freaking phones off. Don't be taking pictures or whatever. I mean, I mean, I understand if you make flyers, say, hey, look, there's a clothing drive. Hey, we're gonna feed the hungry. Hey, I understand if you're gonna make a flyer or whatever, but don't, but at the actual event, don't be fucking taking pictures and videos and hey, look, it's you know, it'll be like. Hey, look, it's me. I'm hey, look, it's me. I'm here on the Capitol Street or, or, or blah blah blah. Da, 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 and I'm and we're feeding the hungry. Look at the hungry people, everybody. Look at the hungry people. And, no, fuck that shit. No. If you're gonna make a flyer to promote it, that's fine. But once the event is there, once it's happening, keep your phones off. Okay? Don't record it, don't take pictures, nothing. You just do it because it is the right thing to do. It is you're helping out your fellow man. At the same time, I I don't think it's necessary to to have to have that you have to have a church service while you're feeding the hungry or doing a clothing drive or whatever. That is not necessary. That is not necessary. You don't have to have a... You're feeding the hungry because it is the right thing to do. To help your fellow man. Now, if you want to have a prayer line where, you know, a, 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 or, or an area where it'd be like, hey, look, uh, if, if, if you want prayer, you know, just go over here. And the brother and sister will pray for you, but and that's fine. I, you know, I'm okay with that. But to to go to the point of having a big church service, and you know, in the middle of the street before you feed the hungry, you know, let the people starve for you're you're basically you're starving the people for three or four hours for a church service before you feed. No, just get out there, set up the tables, and feed the people. And if you know people want prayer, they'll go. And then what? And, no, but it's our job. No, not by that way. You know, I I've always I've I've always done things differently. And because of the way that I do things, many people don't like 
me. Many ministers don't like me because I don't do things the traditional way. No, I'm not traditional. Yes, can yes, by you know, by being different, by doing things different, by trying to think outside the box. Yes, has has it gotten me in trouble a couple times? Yes. But that's because that's because you have these traditionalist conservative types or even 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 in the liberal, even in the liberal Christianity, they're, they're still traditionalist type people that they're stuck on their one way, one way only uh, mentality of ministering. And it, again, it goes back to show like, you know, nobody actually listens to each other. Nobody actually tries to talk rationally with, you know, and, and being calm, you know, like with the politics and whatever. Again, you have, you have, you have conservative Christians on the right. They're saying, oh, these, you know, I feel, I feel, I feel so sorry for, for the Christians on the left because they're on the wrong side of history and they're, and you know this, you know they should be ashamed of themselves because of this, that, or the other. And the and the, the the liberals, the liberal Christians on the left, they're saying the exact same thing about the other side. But nobody's actually talking to anybody. Nobody's actually talking to anybody. They're both accusing each other of this, that, and the other, calling each other fucking names, and just shut the fuck up and call with that and talk. That simple. Shut the fuck up and talk. And I say that, and I say that about anything and everything, not just in 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 the in Christianity, but I'm talking about everything. Just shut the fuck up and talk like a human being. What talks should talk to another. Listen to what they have to say. Express your concerns as well. And, and try to come into a happy medium. You don't have to agree with everything. You fucking don't. Because God knows I don't agree with everything that everybody says or does or whatever. But at least I try to listen and have an open mind. So that way, even if, I do, even if it comes out where I don't agree with something, but at least I can understand it. And no matter what, I will always support your right to think, to believe what you want to believe, think the way that you want to think, and 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 what have you. Even if I don't agree with you, but again, that just goes to show that so many, you know, nobody actually fucking listens to what anybody really says. If you're on the right and an extreme right and extreme left, whatever, and that's in, that's in religious poli- that's in re- uh, religion. That's in politics. That's within a lot of things. And then you got people like me who are happily in the middle that we actually try to listen to what everybody's saying. And we're cut, we're caught in the middle when these two sides are attacking each other. And then other people get, get affected. And you know, uh, it's like, you know, um, and I mentioned, and I've mentioned them before, you know, my friends who are from Pakistan, you know, and I've had some conversations, you know, they're Muslim and, you know, and, and they're stuck in the middle. Uh, because, and I was having some conversations with other friends of mine who are Muslim and I was like, okay, well, are you Sunni or are you, or are you Shiite? And, you know, and depending on the country and whatever it is, oh, I'm Sunni. Oh, I'm Shiite. And then others, you have others, it, you know, and then again, once you separate from Sunni and Shiite, then it, it, it breaks you down even more. Again, just like Christianity, right? You, you know, it's like, are, are you Catholic or Protestant? Okay, da da da. But it's kind of like the same thing of, hey, are you Sunni or are you Shiite? And then once you, you're Sunni or Shiite, then things break down and they, and, so and then you have and then you have those that again like me they're not any of them they're just in the middle trying to learn the truth trying to read the quran and 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 try to having a true relationship with their deity and it's one of those things is that and then when when these arguments and these other things and 
um, are happening, <clears throat> they'll get stuck in the middle. They'll get stuck in the middle of be <clears throat> between the different uh, factions of their religious uh, of, of Islam arguing with each other. And then you have the extreme Islamics, you know, and and you have the reformed Islamic people, just like you have the real extreme Christian folks, and and then you have the race, and then and, and then in Christianity we have the racist people who call themselves Christians, and the real hateful people who call themselves Christians, and it's a bunch of bullshit. And it's again because nobody, you know, nobody's actually fucking listening. Nobody's actually fucking listening to what anybody is saying. And it's really sad. It is really sad to see that nobody's listening to anybody. And I've been seeing this a lot on Facebook and, you know, between a lot of people that they call themselves Christian. And they say, oh, they, you know, they think they're on the right side, but they're not. You know, you know, and I'll say this, many, many people. Many many people that I know who who say they're Christian, and it doesn't matter if they're under and they're on uh, their uh, their right wing, their left wing. But many, and I'm talking about not every one of them, but many of them, whether they're left wing or right wing, it doesn't matter. They're fucking wrong. Just by their own behavior, by the way that they act, by the way that they do things, they're they're automatically wrong. You should be trying. You, you you know. You should be trying to make peace with your fellow man, not attack them. And it happens on both sides. It happens on both sides. They, you know, because nobody fucking listens. Just shut up and make peace. You don't have to agree with each other, but be like shit. And don't, and, and, and again, and don't think that you're that you are the only, don't think that you are correct and everybody else is wrong. That's another thing that really gets me pissed off. You know, again, it happens on the right and on the left, where well, no, I'm right and you're wrong. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care how you feel. I don't want to hear you. I'm right. You're wrong. No, you're just you're just wrong. On both sides, neither one of you are right. You're both wrong. That simple. And again, because it's because nobody wants to shut the fuck up and listen. All right, y'all. That's it for tonight. Uh, I'll let you go. So until the next video, just remember, I'm Sway. I love you all. Peace out. It's just my opinion.